Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P. Let's carry on setting up Proxmox server on my very old laptop which is buzzing behind me. A couple of days ago the new version of Proxmox virtual environment was released with the number of 7.3 and instead of just going and updating my Proxmox setup I decided to record this quick video to show you how easy it is to do that and how to add additional repository to your Proxmox update list. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to add the community edition of Proxmox repository and then we're going to run and update our system. Inside the Proxmox GUI, if I click on the node, in my case it's by name Dex, and I click on the repositories, at the moment, this just gives me a list of repositories that are currently active and it says the, the enterprise report is enabled, but there is no subscription. That's fine. How to add additional repository? You just click on a button add, click OK on the pop up message. And right now inside this list, choose non subscription or no subscription model and click add. And there you go. We have the your you get updates for Proxmox virtual environment, but just the non-subscription version of Proxmox um, update. So once that is enabled, next thing I need to go inside the Termux and log in via SSH to my Termux environment. And once you're logged into your Proxmox environment, uh, just run a apt update command just to get all the new, all the updated packages between uh, from all the repositories and the new repository which we just added. It's obviously still gonna give you an error saying uh, there is no uh, subscription enabled, this, which is fine by me. And next, we're just going to run upgrade command space dash y just to say I install everything and I accept everything by default. And right now, we're just going to go and download all the new updates for this uh, Proxmox version environment, including the new version. Once all the updates are installed, the quick message will show up encouraging you to restart the system. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to click OK on that. Leave everything selected by default and click OK and wait for the system to go back into a terminal and now I'm just going to write reboot and press enter and wait for my Proxmox, v the Proxmox virtual environment to restart. Once Proxmox successfully restarted, I logged in back into a Proxmox web, web GUI and now I can see a version 7.3 at the top. So update successfully completed. And now we can use one of the new features inside this version, which is tagging. For example, if I click on a TrueNet scale, uh, that virtual machine starts and I can see that IP address assigned to this virtual machine is 156 or ending with 156. But what if I'm just need quickly log into this virtual machine and I can't remember the IP address. So every time I need to go and just check inside this terminal what IP address it is, it's not the, <laughs> very fast for me to do this. So what I'll do is I'm assigned the tag which will represent the last digit in my local IP address list. There is an option at the top right now of actually all of them. So under the container template, VMs, etc., you can't tag the storage units, but you can tag virtual machines, containers, and the templates of the virtual machines and containers. So if I click on a true nice scale, I click on the plus sign, and now I, sorry, on a pencil, and now I click on a plus sign, and I will put 156 which will represent the last digit of the local IP address. Bubble showed up next to a TrueNAS scale virtual machine, but no number showing up inside. So we need to add the number. If I click on a data center, click on a data center, go inside options. And there is a couple of new fee, couple of new options showed up inside this list after the update. So tag style override, if I double click on that, I can say, I want this to be full circular, uh, Default circular, full, circular, dense, or none. I'm going to say full. And now I want to say uh, um, ordering. So I want default uh, alphabetical and etc. I'm going to say alphabetical. I'll click add here. And now inside the drop down option, I can put the number that I added, 156. And right now it shows up what, ba what background color it shows and a text color. That's fine. I'm just going to say that it is. That's fine by me. I click apply. And now I have a tag with the number 156 showing up. Cloud VM, similar thing. If I click in that, on the Cloud VM, I can see ending with 20. I put the pencil plus sign. I put 20 in here and click OK. And now in the seconds, I'm going to show up here and different color. You can make, make the color to match. So if I click on here, double click on this, I press add, put 20 in here. And I can say this one, I want uh, be red background and I want this to be red background. Or if you want to be a very specific, you can obviously enter the hex code of the color. So both of them are going to be red and a white text. So this is how it shows up. I don't like this actually. I'm just going to go and remove that and it's just going to do automatically. And that's it. Let's say, for example, to a scale, I want to add another thing. If somebody logs in and doesn't know what true scale is, I can put this one. It's going to say ZFS 
pool. You can't put spaces in the tag, so it needs to be one word. So I'm going to say ZFS pool and press tick. And now it's just going to show up at this 156 IP address and tag ZFS pool means that it is a ZFS pool. Another thing what you can do with the tags, you can assign tags to us users inside your Proxmox to basically do a user uh, access control um, of the VMs and etc. based on the tags as well, which I will show in our upcoming videos when we're going to start creating a Windows virtual machines, Linux virtual machines with a VDI option to remotely connect and control them. More like a thin client kind of thing, but that's going to be in upcoming videos. So here we are, 7.3 update, uh, Proxmox update 7.3 installed on my Proxmox server, which runs on this Acer laptop 10 plus years old laptop and tagging is functioning so right now i don't need to go and hunt for ip address i can look straight away and say okay it's 156 i know how my local ip addresses uh, starts with i just need to figure out the last number and these tags will obviously help me out to quickly connect to them because i know this is 20 and this is 156 thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye